All right, so what are we gonna need? This is gonna be a 15 minute workout. You're gonna need to have your dumbbells. If you don't have your dumbbells, get yourself something that has weights, resistance bands, cans of beans, books, whatever it is. We're gonna work 40 seconds of work time and then you're gonna get 15 seconds of rest time. We're doing multiple exercises going from lower body to upper body. This is a beginner slash intermediate workout, but if you wanna make it advanced, just go heavier. All right, we're gonna start Right now, let me click this timer. Boom, got the timer set. Arms are up, gonna open up. Left over right, then the right is over the left. As simple as this is, there's a lot of things that's happening, okay? I want you to focus on squeezing your chest as your arms come across the body. Then I want you to focus on squeezing the posterior part of your body, which means the back portion of your shoulders and your back as your arms separate. Then I'm sitting upright and I'm pulling my navel into the spine. I want to feel a little space between my waistline and my stomach line, okay? So you want whatever pants you have on, you want to feel like there's a little gap in between that. So that's how tight I want to pull your stomach in. Inhale and exhale. There you go. That 40 seconds goes by pretty quick because that was easy. The next one we're going to work on is going to be a flutter. Arms up, arms down, okay? We have five seconds to go. Keep your core tight, locked in. Remember, sit up tall. Good posture, two and one. So it's gonna flutter up. I don't want big, big, big moves. I want shorter movements, but I want you to squeeze the chest, okay? If you're not contracting your muscles, then you're not doing yourself any justice. Whew. Inhale, exhale, and smile, because we're going to sweat. Come on. It's already a part of the future. Now accept it. There we go. Try to go a little faster if you can, but don't try to keep up with me though. Go to your own pace. Remember, this is your own workout. I'm just doing the moves. I'm making it my own too. Keep on working, keep on focusing. There you go, that time went by pretty quick. We're gonna go to your side bends. I'm gonna take the hands out to the side. I'm just gonna go to the left and then to the right, back and forth. Keep my chest up, focusing on the oblique muscles in the side. These are your obliques right here, okay? Here we go, two and one. Let's go side to side. Go as far as you can. If you can touch the floor, touch the floor. I don't want you to curve your torso. Really stay tall, okay? What I mean by that is don't let me see you curving like this. Don't crunch. Lift your chest up. Feel proud. We have 12 seconds. There you go. Inhale, exhale. Nice, beautiful work. Now we're gonna go into your chest flies. Arms are gonna come like this. We're gonna open out and close back in, right? So arms are, palms are facing in. I'm looking in the mirror. Open back up, back into the mirror, okay? We go in two and one. So here we go, elbows up. Now I don't want your arms all the way down here, okay? You have to keep your arms up high. 90 degree bend. As you come in, you're squeezing your chest. So that's the reason why you're turning your palms in, the reason why you're looking in that mirror. Stay tight. Inhale, exhale. You know I'm gonna say it, stomach tight. Pull the stomach in. Squeeze your chest muscles. I want you to contract it. Don't just do the move. Feel the squeeze. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Keep on squeezing. A few more seconds. There you go. Nice work. You're doing fantastic. We're going to do some leg raises next. Marching in place, right? We're going to lift the left leg up, then the right leg up, left leg up, right leg up. We're not touching the back of the chair. We're going three, two, one, and let's go. We're lifting up. Now as I'm lifting, tighten your stomach up. You're activating that lower ab region, tighten those abs up. Remember, don't curve forward. We're not doing a crunch here. Lift that posture up, stabilize. Here we go. Make sure you're pulling from the hip. You got it. A few more seconds and time. Nice work. See the jacks to a knee raise. Same thing we just did. We're gonna go leg out, then we're gonna lift, lift, leg out, 
and lift and lift. Try to alternate to left and right, right and left. We go in two, one, legs out and march it up. Legs out again, lift it up. So we're gonna keep on doing that same kind of combo, right? Here we go. Stay in your own tempo. I could already feel the body temperature raising up already. The muscles are already now working, and that's what we need. There you go. Okay, let's get those weights in our hands. We're gonna keep on doing the knee, knee lifts, but now we're gonna add an arm curl. Palms are in, we're gonna lift and lift, okay? Same concept. Here we go, and let's do it. Take your time, don't let me see you rushing too much. Just go to your own pace. Make sure that tummy is not sagging. Make sure you're tightening your stomach up. Pulling those shoulders back. We wanna practice perfect posture. We don't wanna be slouchy, okay? Don't want you slouching. And on your arm curls, come down all the way down. Extend all the way down, but do not lock your elbows. Keep a soft bend in your elbow, but still open up those muscles. There we go. We're looking good. We have four seconds. Two, and relax. That was so good. So we're gonna go to your seated jacks, to your arm curls. So weights come in the front. You're gonna come in, legs come in. Arms come up, legs open up, arms go down. We go in two and one, let's get it. Pace yourself, remember, I don't want you to go too fast here. Control, and don't let me see your back rocking forward like this. Try to stay upright. Aim to stay upright. Pull the abs in. There you go. Come on, baby, come on. I want you to feel the muscles fired up. If the weights are not doing anything, go a little heavier. Get some heavier weights. Because we're not here to play. We're here to challenge those muscles. So good. Fantastic. Now, we're going to go to your overhead presses. So sit back comfortably to the chair. Get your back to rest against the chair. We're raising our roof. We're going to go in three, two, one and we are pressing up. Pace yourself. I don't want you to come all the way down here, okay? I want you to focus on that 90 degree. That's where your muscles really work. When you're working your shoulders, you don't have to go too heavy. <sighs> Try to push it all the way up. Aim all the way up. When you go to that little extra stretch, that's when you really feel those muscles working. Keep on pressing. We're almost there already. So good. Woo! Man, I felt that one. That one felt good. That felt pretty good. Okay, okay. All right, next one. Leaning forward, going back into your tricep kickback, okay? You're gonna work the back of those arms. We're going three, two, one, and kick it back. If you look at my body, right, I'm not moving my shoulders. I'm only moving the elbow. And what I mean by that, if you're doing this, you're not doing it right, okay? You wanna stay locked in, tight. Lift your chest, straighten that back up. Big squeeze on the back of the arms. Squeeze on the back of the arms, okay? 15 seconds, come on. Keep on squeezing. Focus on what you want to feel like, what you want to look like. Come on, it's not going to happen by easy. Good. It's going to happen when you challenge yourself. We're going to challenge those arms again. We're going to go to overhead extensions where you can sit back into that chair again. Dumbbells come together and we're going to press up to the top, okay? Keep the core nice and tight. We're going three, two, one, and let's go. I want you to pace yourself. Don't worry about too much speed. I'm going to separate my dumbbells a bit more. It's gonna give me more range in my shoulders. If you have good flexibility, you can bring your elbows all the way in as much as you want to. 
but for me, I'm right where I need to be and I'm not forcing the speed. What I'm looking at is the contraction, the squeeze of the muscle. There you go, go to your own pace. Remember that, don't worry about my pace. You do you and I do me. Oh man, that hurt it, that hurt it a lot. Okay, so the weights are gonna come here next. We're gonna go back to those marchers. I'm gonna lift up just like this. I'm not, the weight is only resting on the leg, okay? The leg is lifting the weights. So let's march it up. The legs is lifting the weights. Make sure you don't let the weight slip off. So you're holding the weights, keeping it steady. Keep that core tight, lock everything in. Try to get those knees up as high as you can. Pick them up as high as possible, come on. Challenge yourself, don't look for easy. Remember, easy don't get results. Nothing known as easy, we don't buy into those things, okay? We're gonna work for it, old school. That's what we're gonna do, keep it old school. The things that we know work forever. Three, two, and relax. Woo! Remember, your results don't come from supplements in a bottle, it doesn't. It comes from hard ass work. You gotta work. If you ain't working, then you playing games, okay? So now, we're gonna do those same seated jacks, knee raises like we did before. Out, lift those legs up. Out, and up. Stay controlled here. Keep the weights where it needs to be, okay? Keep it tight. Woo! That feels so good, I can feel the weight on those legs, I can feel it. The legs are saying, what the heck is going on here? We're too skinny to be doing this. We shouldn't be working out. Nope. We gonna train, baby. We gonna work. <laughs> Woo! That felt so good. Okay, we have four more rounds of exercises to go. We're gonna go to punching the skies next. Alternating punches, sitting back into that chair. You're gonna punch up to the ceiling. Think about those results. Think about those excuses. And I want you to punch through it. I want you to let it burn too. Really push. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can sit forward a bit more so your back is not touching the chair. Keep your core nice and tight. I want you to reach up. Reach up. Extend up. You feel the difference as you extend up further? Then the burn starts to really take over. Woo! I want to stop so bad, <laughs> but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep on going, because you're going. Let's go. Come on. Woo! I love it when a plan comes together. That's fantastic. like it a lot. Let's go to the edge. We're going to lean forward. We're going to lean over here like this. You're going to do a bent over arm curl. Feet together, and let's go. Let's lock it in. Elbows is the only thing that's moving. You're not moving your shoulders. You're staying isolated into the arms. Inhale, exhale. Don't forget to squeeze. You're working the front of your arms. It's the bicep muscles, okay? Squeeze them. We have 15 seconds left. Big strong breath. Eight seconds. Last three, give me one more curl, and time. Whew, so good. We're doing fantastic. We have two more rounds to go. Let's go to the front of your shoulders. Legs are out. You're gonna lift one arm up, and then the other one up. We're gonna alternate. Ooh, that felt heavy. That felt really heavy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really feel this one. I'm gonna feel this one. Whew. And pace yourself. Remember, we're not going for speed. What I'm looking for is quality movement. Quality movement, not hurrying it up. Take your time and allow the muscles to work properly. Time with attention. You got it. You got it. Come on. Stay strong. A few more seconds. Clock is going to go off. There you go. That's right. 
Last round, we're gonna go into your deadlifts. It's gonna come from here and go straight down, come back up again and go straight down. That's it, every time you come up, pull your stomach tight. Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go. Down and up. These are your deadlifts or your good mornings. Remember, pace yourself. Don't be, don't be afraid to pause in the bottom. Recollect your thoughts and then pull back up properly. Make sure you're in perfect alignment every time. The closer the weight is to your body, the safer it is for your body. If the weight is too far out from your body, that's dangerous. So pull the weights back in. You have 15 seconds left. Let the weight go down to that ground if you can. If you can't, that's okay. Five seconds. Come on, put a smile on your face. It's almost done. Give me one more. There you go. And we are done. Woo! That felt so good. The body felt amazing. I feel great. Not too, 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 too challenging, but challenging just enough so your body can feel the work. And I'm speaking for me, because maybe you just literally sweat like crazy. I'm here sweating too. The workout is now done. It's completed. I want you to be proud of yourself, you know? You're part of the membership. You're here. You're working out. You're pushing it. Just remember, keep on going to that calendar. Add this to your favorites if you want to. If you love this, add it to your favorites. Don't forget to leave a comment. And also, invite your family. Invite your friends. Tell them chillworkouts.com is here. Let them be a part of the membership, okay? And you can also become an affiliate. It's on the bottom of the website. You see it. Become an affiliate so you can get some money from it also. All right? So this is Donovan Green from chillworkouts.com telling you that your body is just a body until you make it a temple. So let's go. I'll see you later.